Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Eric Corum, founder of AIM7. Welcome back to The Blueprint, where we distill cutting-edge science, leadership, and life skills into simple tactics optimized for your busy lifestyle and goals. Today, I'm joined by Carrie Vitt. Carrie is a functional nutritional therapy practitioner, cookbook author, and expert in thyroid and adrenal health. And she's also my sister. In this episode, Carrie gives us some practical tips for planning and cooking healthy meals and snacks for on-the-go families. We discuss foods to stock up on for quick meals and so much more. So now it's time to lean in and learn from the best. Carrie, it's really fun to have you on the show uh, because, well, you're my sister. So this is really cool. It is fun. Uh, How can we cook healthy meals or snacks when life gets really crazy and some of us don't have an hour every day to, you know, cook for our kids and fast food is just so easy. Yeah, it is easy. Uh, I think first of all, planning is a big part of things. So, uh, you know, once a week, when my kids were little, especially, and there was just so much going on, I would make a meal plan once a week. And then no, like, because if you don't have a plan, you're going to tend to eat more fast foods, things like that. Um, Some people are really big fans of batch cooking. I'll be honest, I don't really do that. Um, But some people really love like cooking on the weekend and they'll cook all the meals and they put them in containers and they put them in the fridge. Uh, I don't know. It's it works for some people, for others. Like, I don't want to spend my whole Saturday making all my food, (laughs) to be honest. Um, But I would say um, make sure you always have protein. And I always keep lots of meats in the freezer. So protein, good, healthy fat and vegetables. Um, Because if you have those things on hand, you can literally whip up a meal in about 10 or 15 minutes. Of course, you got to thaw the meat, right? So in the morning, if you're thinking, okay, tonight we got to have a quick meal, it's going to be, you know, the chicken and, and some other kind of vegetables. You can throw the chicken in the sink to let it uh, defrost while you're gone, come home and then get a big skillet or a big pot and you cook all of that in, you know, let's say butter or ghee or something like that. I mean, you, you literally can have a meal in about 15 minutes, cut up the chicken or the meat or cook even faster, which is really nice. Another thing I really like to do is I do do this on the weekends uh, is make a big pat batch of like rice or a batch of beans, or I always make a super stew. Always, always. Um, first of all, with those good, healthy starches, you can then add those to like that meal where you're like, okay, we're going to do chicken breasts and vegetables. Well then great. You have rice in the fridge that you've already cooked, or you have beans that you've already cooked. So you can add that in. You can even all do that in one pot, right? And just make like a big combination. It's actually really delicious. I really like eating it like that. And it's quicker, less uh, cleanup afterwards. Uh, And then like the soup stews are so helpful for lunches. Uh, And like when my girls were younger, they're both in college now, but when they were younger, I would do this all the time. And we, these are amazing. The insulated containers, it's an insulated thermos. And so you reheat the soup or the stew or leftovers, right? So I always would like to make extra of whatever I was making, right? Cook up more protein, cook up more vegetables, whatever that is, throw some extra potatoes in the oven, reheat on the stove. I will say when you reheat in the oven, it does change the flavor or sorry, reheat in the microwave. It does change the flavor. Doesn't taste as great. So I reheat on the stove or the oven, stick it in this and it will keep it very, very hot for a good five or six hours enough for you to, for it to last until lunch. Um, Also, I would say Plan out your week knowing, let's say Wednesday nights, you know, I have, you know, we have 20 minutes when we're at home in between things. So plan that day out and and go, okay, either maybe that's a crock pot day, right? We're in the morning, you throw in, I mean, y'all know you can throw in like a whole chicken with like potatoes and onions. You don't even have to put any like liquid and it just like all does its own thing. Excessive soreness after a workout is not a badge of honor. It's actually a sign that you are overloading your body and in turn diminishing long-term health and fitness gains. My new app, AIM7, fixes this problem by turning wearable data 
into personalized exercise recommendations that layer on top of popular exercise programs that you already love, like Apple Fitness Plus, Peloton, or F45. These recommendations prevent burnout and improve long-term fitness. Then we pick up where wearables fail and we teach you how to fix your most pressing wellness issues, such as improving sleep, energy, or reducing stress. To get access to this exclusive program, go to www.aim7.com. That's AIM7.com and sign up now. There are limited spots available each month. So sign up now and reserve your spot. Now back to the show. Haley, my wife, she like, there are certain nights of the week we have jujitsu and it's like, the the meat will go in she'll put on butter on top and then she'll throw the the potatoes and stuff in there and like we'll do this in the summer and then it's so funny you mentioned the meat and vegetables uh for a meal because that's a lot of what we do we have a bunch of vegetables and we just uh i'm like so what's for dinner tonight she's like meat and vegetables (laughs) and (laughs) it's okay i mean it's like uh you know we're eating healthy and yeah. then if, if, if one of us wants to throw some starch or something in there, we'll do that. Yeah. I also, I roast vegetables every Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Roasting is amazing. What's, amazing. what's your favorite combinations and what do you like to put on them? Mm, I really love roasted broccoli and mushrooms and carrots. Cause you get a little bit of that sweetness from the carrots. I always toss in ghee. That is one thing that people usually miss. A lot of people roast with like olive oil. Olive oil is a very delicate oil. Should only be used at low temp cooking or for like drizzling. So you want to grab something that's more stable for roasting. So ghee is one of my go-tos. I usually just do salt and pepper. And then a lot of times I like to do like a little spritz of like lemon or something when it comes out. Or if you have any extra herbs like parsley or cilantro, just whatever you have on hand, rosemary is also really good. And just throw that on top. You toss that. And then you can also, I mean, you've got your vegetables, but I mean, you can also roast your meats, right? So let's say you had chicken breast, bone in skin on is best so that they don't dry out. You could put it all in the same pan or if you're trying to feed a lot, you might have to have two rub those with a little ghee, salt and pepper, throw it all in at the same time. And like, you can go like tend to the family or answer emails, do whatever you're needing to do. And then, you know, it comes out in about 45 minutes. What about snacks? Like yeah, anybody with kids knows, can I have a snack? You know, and you're like, oh my gosh, like you just ate. Like what about snacks in the house that are healthy or snacks in the car? In the car. Yeah. I love, um, okay. For the car, like chopsticks or something equivalent. There's a lot of different kinds of sticks. They're like grass fed beef. Those are great. I know like paleo Valley makes some, I don't know. There's different brands nowadays. Those are really great. Justin's almond butter packets are really nice because they just push up on it and there's not a lot of mess. I actually, you know, as an adult, I keep those in my purse at all times because you never know if you're going to get stuck somewhere or whatever, and you're going to need to eat something. Those are kind of like my two go tos I also love cheese for like the car. I personally don't mind if it's room temp. Some people do. Uh, but that's also a really good one. That's not super messy. And then at home, I think having like fruits on hand, uh, you know, nuts, if they like to grab some almonds or grab some pecans, something like that, cheese, and then, you know, yogurt, And I know we like to go more with like the squeezable ones with all the flavors, but those usually contain a lot more sugars and things like that. So, and it's cheaper, just get like the whole plain yogurt and teach them. I mean, even at five years old, you can teach them like, Hey, you can get a bowl, put some yogurt in it, put some nuts on top and a little honey. I mean, a five-year-old can totally do that. You know, you just got to regulate the honey. Well, yes. Especially if your youngest is around, you would want to regulate the honey for Carter. <laughs> we have, we have been yogurt at breakfast has turned into a fiasco. Like the other kids are great, but he will, he is adamant. Our little baby, he's almost two years old is adamant at, to have it. And it is just everywhere in his hair and all that kind of stuff. But this is really important because I think as we're approaching summer, you know, people are on the go, maybe they're mm-hmm. working and it just, I ran into some of the other night. And they were like, I was like, Hey, what's going on? And it was almost like out of guilt. They're like, yeah, we're not eating healthy tonight. We're getting a pizza. And I'm like, why did you feel the need to tell me that? I thought it was awesome though. But that's, I think we could all fall into that trap. And so like going and buying in bulk and putting these things in the house, Costco or whoever, Costco's got a lot of great options now, but like 
just making sure it's on hand and then maybe doing a little prep work. Now, Carrie, Mm -hmm. you have weekly recipes that people are like menus that people can buy. Like, how would they find this? Like if they're like, okay, I really like what she's talking about and I want to just make my life a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. You can just go to my site, deliciouslyorganic.net. I do have like hundreds of recipes there. And then if you click on shop, I have meal plans. So um, it's five dinners each week and uh, they're great. They're easy. They're also healthy. You can choose between classic gluten-free or like grain-free paleo, depending on like what, you know, where you're at right now. And um, it just takes some of the guesswork out for you. That is awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to follow Carrie, check the show notes. Uh, You can follow her on Instagram. You can follow her on Facebook at Deliciously Organic, uh, Carrie Vitt on Instagram. And then I put a link to her website and those meal plans. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks for having me. If you found today's podcast valuable and you really appreciated Carrie's simple yet practical tips, would you please text a friend and share this episode with them as I'm sure they would really appreciate it. Thanks again for listening and I'll catch you on the next episode.